So this area is kind of an opening hallway or reception area when you first come up the stairs on the second floor. And it was originally a different division of bathrooms and hall closets. There was a hallway that stretched in the center here between the, all the bedrooms. Now we use this space for different things that we more or less keep on a permanent basis. So we have a large chart over here that kind of shows what the old mine properties, so the seven major gold mines, all of those properties, what they were being used for more modernly. So in 1988, which is around when we have these uh, photos listed, we have different models here that kind of give an indication what some of the head frames and mine equipment would have looked like. We have different drills and a very interesting aspect over here we have the Chateau guest book. So this guest book was actually on display downstairs um, in the early days in the office downstairs for people to sign in. So after the Lakeshore Mine, which is the mine where the property that we're on was located, when it closed in the 60s, the house was sold and turned into a nursing home. So prior to that, the anyone visiting this property would sign this guest book. So this guest book ranges from the 30s till about the 60s and we have quite a list of names from different places all around the world showing who came up north to visit the gold camp. We also have a memorial quilt up on the wall over here that kind of represents the history of Kirkland Lake and a lot of people find it very interesting to take a look at because it shows the mile of gold in the center of the road which is kind of the town's catchphrase but has a purpose in its name as well and different aspects of life in Northern Ontario. So we have our church section, different sports and wildlife, fires, 